Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to 3307. This is where I talk about the news and happenings in and around Elite Dangerous. This week, we've got a brand new community series in the form of a Rebuy Unlimited heading this way. Sagittarius Eye makes a return to PDF format and Tori Wolf shows some concept for an alternative plant scanner. The premier magazine for Elite Dangerous, Sagittarius Eye, is making a return to PDF form on the 23rd of April. Now, Sagittarius I has been in podcast form for quite a while now, however, the return of the magazine is definitely most welcome by myself and I'm sure many other people within the community. The magazine was always produced to absolutely fantastic standards, and what's more, this time around it's going to be available in printed form as well. To get your hands on the printed copy, simply head over onto a Sagittarius I Patreon page and check out the uh, printed tier that will be available on the 23rd. And for everyone else who wants the digital version, that will be available beginning issue 35 on the Sagittarius I website. Do check out the links in the video description. Now, last week saw the release of Phase 3 for the Alpha of Elite Dangerous Odyssey, and it brought with it a good deal of controversy, and I think perhaps it's reasonable to say much of that was fairly deserved. The exploration side of Odyssey comes with its utility, the ability to scan life in the form of planets down on planetary surfaces. Unfortunately, this has made a lot of waves by being a very simplistic introduction of the Earth system. Essentially, in order to scan plants, players are expected to get involved in a quick time event which relies on very quick reaction times. Although this has been patched with a hotfix, reducing the time timing down a little bit to make it slightly easier for people, the concept of a reaction game does make it not ideal for many people. However, very recently, a video posted to YouTube by Tori Wolf suggests an alternative. The alternative is slightly more puzzle-focused, allowing players to rotate rings in order to align them correctly. You can see a few seconds of Tori Wolf's concept video on the screen right here, but for the full footage, do check out the full video, which you can find linked below. I highly recommend it. I do think that something like this would go a long way to making the whole process of scanning plants a little bit more interesting. However, there are other problems, and for those, I've mentioned them in my previous video, which you can see linked on the screen right now. You can also find a link in the video description. So, well done to Tory Wald for presenting such a really nice concept here. Going on to a completely different subject, when I was a kid, perhaps one of my first, uh, most favourite LEGO sets was Space LEGO. Now, of course, LEGO and Elite Dangerous seems like an absolutely perfect fit, and plenty of other people, it seems, would agree. We've got a LEGO Crate Phantom here, posted to Reddit. Uh, this is by Beef1213, and it's a lovely crate, really nice bit of kit, uh, definitely would like one of these myself. Elsewhere, Redditor Lurkin Random has posted this Lego box art that's made for a custom Elite Dangerous Lego ship, a Falcon de Lacey Anaconda. This looks just like the type of box you'd buy in one of the Lego stores. Very nice indeed. For both of these Reddit threads, you know where to look. And still on the subject of community created content, there's a brand new series about to arrive to YouTube called Rebuy Unlimited. The initial video here is an internal pilot, I guess you could call it episode zero, a concept that has been put together to see how well things work, and I think you'll all agree it actually turns out really, really nice indeed. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of these. The story plays out across the entire 10 minute video, and I fully understand and fully imagine that a lot of work, and both in terms of production as well as organisation, must have gone into this. So, not only is this a great video, but it's also very funny as well. Again, linked below. Now, Phase 4 for the Alpha of Elite Dangerous Odyssey will finally unlock the entire galaxy for players to uh, access. Not only that, it will also bring players access to their full account, which will be copied over from the live servers onto the Alpha servers, essentially giving you all your ships, all your credits and everything else. Now, as yet, Frontier haven't given a release date for Phase 4 of Alpha, but I suspect it's going to be pretty soon. The entire Alpha itself is set to end on the 30th of April, so I fully imagine that Frontier want at least one full week of testing in before we reach that date. That basically would mean Alpha for Phase 4 could start this Thursday, but we'll have to see. 
Now, each phase of the alpha has had a focus. The focus for the fourth phase is for compatibility between Odyssey and Horizon's content. So we probably shouldn't expect to see too much in the way of new content for Odyssey in the fourth phase. That said, there are a few things that are likely being held back for release. One thing that we do know for sure that is being held back for release is the full implementation of brand new planetary tech. We've seen some of that in Odyssey so far, in fact you can see it on the screen throughout this video, some of the new planetary surfaces and some of the atmospheric effects. However, the full implementation of this planet tech is not coming until release. But other than that, there's no official word on whether or not any other content is being held back for release. So for now, Phase 4 is the next step. That then brings us to an end of this episode of 3307. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.